Welcome to Learn Yourself. Think, discuss, and write. Page number one hundred and fifty-seven. An ant carry fifty times its weight. That means whatever weight the ant has, ant can carry more than that weight, and that is fifty times more weight than its actual weight. So, if a person can do the same, how much would you be able to carry? So, here they have written that how much would you be able to carry? So, here. you can write your own weight and whatever your weight will be suppose a kg and if you are doing the same what ant is doing then you will be able to carry 50 times more weight times is always suggesting us multiplication so a kg is your own weight into 50 and you will get your answer over here that that much that this much kg weight you will be able to carry if you would have been carry the same as ant can carry now here i am considering weight generalized weight that is 32 kg so i am just assuming that weight is 32 kg so 32 kg into 50 equals to 32 into 5 10 1 will be carry over 15 and 16 so 160 and this is 50 so we are going to add one zero so we will get here 1600 kg so we'll be able to if your weight is 32 kg then you will be able to carry 1600 kg weight think discuss and write page number 160 look at the examples below in each of them discuss which is better for comparison in the atmosphere 1 gram of air contains 0.78 gram nitrogen 0.21 gram oxygen 0.01 gram other gases so this is one kind of comparison in which we are seeing the numbers in decimals other comparison in which we are seeing the numbers in percentage so here the quantities are clear that 78% is nitrogen 21% is oxygen and 1% other gas is there so in terms of percentage the comparison is clear and will be able to see that that nitrogen has a larger share compared to other gases and oxygen is 21% and in minute quantity that only 1% other gases are existing in 1 gram of air so the second a shirt has 3 by 5 cotton and 2 by 5 polyester so here fraction form is there here we have seen decimal form here fraction form is there and in comparison of fraction form we have again the percentage comparison that 60% cotton is there and 40% polyester is there that means cotton share is more here it is confusing that whether 3 by 5 is more or 2 by 5 is more we have to little bit think about it and then we will guess that yes cotton share is more so whenever the percentage comparison is there it is very easy to judge that which quantity is more and which quantity is less so in routine life in general terminology the percentage comparison is preferred over the decimal comparison and fractional comparison think discuss and write page number 161 so question is can you eat 50% of cake can you eat 100% of cake and can you eat 150% of cake so we are just denoting this question number a b and c like this so let us first think about a can you eat 50% of cake if this is a full cake then if we are dividing into half then we have two halves here so this is 50% of cake and this is also 50% of cake when you are eating half a cake that means you are eating 50% cake so yes you can eat 50% of cake now second question can you eat 100% of cake so when you are adding these two halves it is 100% when you are eating a full cake that means you ate 100% of a cake any quantities are there when you are finishing the whole quantity that means you are eating 100% of that quantity full cake is going to be 100% so yes we can eat 100% of a cake now question c it says that can you eat 150% of cake 150% means this is 100% if we have another cake 
and from that we are taking a half and that 50% we are adding into this then it is going to be 150% but we have here only one cake here this a denoting us that we have only one cake so from one cake we cannot eat 150% cake so the answer for the question C is going to be no, that we cannot eat 150% cake from one cake. Our second question, so here also we are denoting question A, question B and question C. Can a price of an item go up by 50%? Now let us assume that price of one pen is rupees 2 i am taking very very small quantity so that's so it will be easy for comparison now let us try to understand what will be the 50 percent hike for this price so if 2 rupees is 100 percent then what will be the 50 percent so here we will get 2 into 50 divided by 100 so 50 to the 100 and 2 2 will get cancelled out we will get here 1 rupees so when price will hike by 1 rupee, that means it is 50% hike. So when will price be 3 rupees, then it is 50% hike. So yes, so for question A, price can be 3 rupees. Then yes, item price can go up by 50%. Now let us see for question number 2. Then a price of item go up by 100%. If the price of pan is 2 rupees and again 2 rupees has been increased, 2 plus 2 equals to rupees 4. So price can go up to 4 rupees. So price of an item go up by 100 rupees. So question B is also yes. Now let us see for the C question. That can price of an item go up by 150%. So when price of pan is 2 rupees and 3 rupees will increase, then it is increased by 150%. So when price will be 5 rupees of a pan from 2 rupees to it is increased 5 rupees, at that time the price hike is 150%. So when it is in terms of price hike, then it is possible that price can increase up to 50%, 100% or even 500%. So it is always depending upon the quantity what we are using, whether it is a price, whether it is a quantity, whether it is a food item or whether it is some other item. So always we have to think rationally and we have to check that whether this quantity or this percentage can go beyond 100% or not. Think, discuss and write page number 162. Consider the expenditure made on a dress, 20% on embroidery, 50% on cloth, 30% on stitching. Can you think of more such examples? So here basically we have to show a comparison in percentage that whether it is an expenditure or whether it is a material made up of or any some other comparison. So here I have noted down three types of example. You can also Right here, birthday party, celebration expenditure or any material made up of or your paintings color will vary that 20% you have used blue, 30% you have used yellow, any kind of comparison you can write but that comparison has to be in percentage. So tablecloth is made up of 20% of polyester and 80% of cotton. Our blood is made up of 55% of plasma and 45% of blood cells. And our 2B pencils lead is made up of 74% carbon, 20% clay and 5% wax. So these are the percentage comparison. You can write your own examples. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.